and Cheryl Preheim, Francesca Amaker join us for an update. Thank you, Jeff. You know, I had a friend watching our coverage just text me saying, I love that a 43-year-old man just won the Peachtree <laughs> Road Race. So congratulations to him. The energy here at the start line is fantastic. It is so much fun to see everybody running yeah. past. We have so many families running past. A group of friends, we yeah. had some firefighters just went by in full gear carrying American flags. There is such a spirit of celebration and patriotism here on the 4th of July. And you know, this is my first time watching this race. This is my first time being here covering it. This is remarkable to see my hometown coming out, 60,000 of you. And when I say the energy is booming, I mean, the music is fantastic. We're on the sidelines like, yeah, 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 just <laughs> pumping everyone up. And it's just this sense of coming together. There's nothing like this. And, and it's just incredible to see the span uh, of people. Uh, we met an 84-year-old grandfather who is running and a lot of 10-year-olds who've been waiting <laughs> to get to that 10th birthday so they too could be part of the Peachtree Road Race here. It's a beautiful event and I have to tell you the temperature has dropped dramatically in the last hour. There's even a cool breeze so I'm hopeful that will make a great difference for runners as they approach, you know, five, six <laughs> miles into the race.